Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, guys. Celtic Warband here, and welcome back to another how to install video. Today, we will be installing the new version of Third Age Total War 4.0. This is another highly requested video, as the new version has a few extra things that need to be done during the download and installation process. So, I do hope you find this video helpful, and if you do run into any problems, leave a comment down below and I will try to help you out. Now, before we begin, please make sure to remove any old versions of the mod, as the new version is a standalone and doesn't require any previous versions for it to work. Alright, so first things first, things first we're going to go to moddb.com, and then at the top we're going to start typing in Third Age, and it's not going to be this first one here, that's the older version, this is the newer version, the 4.0, that's been uh, kind of taken over from the mod, because I don't think this is being updated anymore. So there was uh, one person or maybe a couple of people that took over this mod and have been uh, pushing through some updates and uh, just basically keeping this mod alive. So that's very, very appreciative. Uh, we're going to go over to the Files tab and we're going to be doing the 4.3 Windows only. I think the last one I did was 4.0, so you can see there is quite a few updates since my last video. So as you said, it is Windows only, as you can see. So unfortunately for Mac users, I don't think this is going to work. Um, maybe the previous versions will, but I don't know that for sure. Anyways, click on the download now there, and then we're going to have it start downloading here in the bottom of the screen. At that point, you can go ahead and click the X on the ad. And just make sure that when we get it downloaded, we're going to have the 5.55 gigabytes uh, required in this download. If it's any less than that, then probably your firewall has blocked some of the downloads and you're going to have to go and re-download the mod. Also, if you have a piece of paper here, uh, instead of the three books stacked on top of one another, chances are you don't have any extraction software installed. So you're going to need something like WinRare. This is what I have or uh, two other alternatives that I always recommend are WinZip and 7-Zip. They're free to use, so as this is downloading, just, just go ahead to Google and type in WinRare Free Download and follow the steps from there. And then once this is done, you should be able to right-click on it and then click Open with WinRare. But we're going to make a small cut here, and then I'll bring it back to you once this is almost done downloading. All right, guys, so once that is done downloading, we are good to go ahead and close out ModDB. And then we're going to do what we usually do and open up the two file explorers so we can see where we're putting the uh, install folder. Uh, we're going to open this here, the downloads. You can see 5.55 gigabits, so it, uh, sorry, gigabytes, so it did download in its entirety. Double click on that just to open everything up and then click X. Now, there are a couple of files in here that your computer may detect as a virus. Uh, they are not, and the modder has uh, repeatedly assured that they are not. I downloaded this mod twice and installed it, and I've played a couple of campaigns in it up to around 30 turns. Ne haven't had any problems, so don't worry about it. But you will have to disable your firewall as you install it, because if you don't, those files that are crucial for the game to run and will not work without uh, those files, they get removed during the install process. It hasn't happened to me, but just in case, I'm going to kind of show you uh, the steps you have to do. Now, obviously, I can't show you everybody's antivirus and how to disable their firewall because there's so many different versions. You'll just have to do a small Google search to figure out how to do that. Now, most Windows 8 and Windows 10 users have Windows security as default, and that's what I basically use. So what we're going to quickly do is go to security dashboard. Uh, we're going to go over to uh, firewall and network protection, and then it's your private network that you're going to have to disable. So we're going to turn that off and then hit OK. So there we go. We will turn this back on as soon as the install is complete as well. And then we're just going to minimize that because we're going to have to go back in here and do an exclusion of the third age four folder in a minute. Now that that is all out of the way, we're going to go ahead and install this in our Medieval 2 mods folder. So for most people, it will be local C, program files 86, Steam, Steam apps, common, and your medieval 2 will end up in this folder here. For the disk users, it is going to be for uh, local C, program files 86, Sega, and then medieval 2 mods. For me, I've got it on my G drive, but same process, Steam games, Steam apps, common, uh, down to 
medieval to total war and then into mods so we're going to be putting it right into here so just grab the third h4 and then just drag it into there and it's going to begin the extraction process and now that the firewall is disabled if it does see those uh, files that could possibly be uh, detectable as a virus they're not a virus but if they are detectable as one the computer really doesn't care or the firewall I should say doesn't really care what it is it'll just remove them so this shouldn't take too long but we'll make a small cut here uh, just to keep the video short and sweet all right and there we go so the extraction process is complete and the third age uh, four folder has been added to your medieval two mods folder so we can go ahead and close this out uh, but we're going to leave this open just for a minute and we're going to go back into our uh, security settings and we're going to go over to the virus and threat protection and we're going to go to manage settings on virus and threat protection settings we're going to scroll down to exclusions and then add or remove exclusions. And the reason we're doing this is because if we enable our firewall, uh, there is a chance that the firewall will find those files that we just installed and remove them. It might not even be right away. So your campaign that you're playing or, or your third age will be working fine for a month or so. And then if it does a scan and it finds those, it'll actually remove those files from the third H4 folder. So what we need to do is actually make an exclusion for the entire folder. So make sure to go right to the same folder there. Scroll down to third H.4, or third H4, select folder. And then that's going to be added as an exclusion. Once that is done, you can go back to your firewall and network uh, protection settings. And we're going to turn back on our firewall. Please make sure that your firewall is enabled after you do that and then everything should be good to go and then you can go ahead and close your uh your uh settings uh for your windows security or whatever if you have norton antivirus or avg any one of those and that is it for the uh, virus protection so now we're going to go into the third age four folder and we have to run some large address aware now, uh, basically what this is, is it allows the game, uh, which was previously limited to two gigabytes of RAM uh, used, it actually bumps it up to four, so it makes it a little bit more stable and a lot less likely to crash during large battles. So double click on that, and then what we're going to have to do is select the little three dots here, and then navigate over to your Medieval 2 Total War folder, scroll down, click Medieval 2 EXE Open, uh, make sure this is checked, and hit save and then we're going to go back in and we're going to do it again for the kingdoms make sure that's checked and hit save and then the large address aware is done and a lot of people were commenting in my previous version of a 4.0 because uh, this is actually 4.3, it's a little misleading there, that uh, there was no uh, Third Age EXE. And that is correct, because now it's actually the uh, Medieval 2 Total War EOP GUI EXE. This is the one that's going to be launching the game. And if you would like to make a desktop shortcut, it's pretty easy here. You can right-click on it, make Create Shortcut, bring it over to your desktop, and then if you uh, right click on it and go to properties, uh, you can actually rename it if you want it. So you could call it uh, Third Age Total War. And uh, you can actually change the logo for it as well. Uh, where is that? I did find it previously. Apologies, guys. Uh, this isn't really super interesting. Like, you don't have to do this if you don't want to. Um, but uh, you could go ahead and click OK. Is there is there another way to do that? Or am I just blind? Oh, change icon. Yeah, I was I was staring right at it. There we go. And then you could actually use this here if you wanted. Open. OK. Apply. And there you go. So you've got your desktop shortcut. If you don't want that, you can totally skip it. It's totally fine. You'll just have to go into your Medieval 2 Mods folder, Third Age 4.3, and select uh, the Medieval 2 EOP EXE. And that is pretty much everything. So now we're able to pretty much launch the mod. So I'm going to change over my recording software here, and I will see you inside Third Age. 
All right, guys, welcome to Third Age Total War version 4.3. You can see in the bottom right-hand corner here that we have the correct version. We're just going to quickly jump into a Third Age campaign and just prove to you that it is working with uh, an end turn and a load into a battle. And there we go. I always pick Gondor just because we have the ability to pretty much get a battle off right away. But we will wait one turn uh, just to make sure we can actually do that end turn as well. Uh, let's just select our cities here and kind of grab some stuff. I'll grab that, that, uh, mines, all the population surplus that we can. Uh, library is fine. Very good. And end the turn. And of course, for this mod, there is a very nice soundtrack, but of course, I have to have it muted just because. Oh, oh, not show that. Blah blah blah. <laughs> just because there is a high probability of copyright. Let's go ahead and grab this army here with the two brothers, and uh, we're gonna have to do one more end turn because unfortunately, we're gonna need some siege equipment. And that is fine. Uh, I can bring this guy into here so that they don't rebel. Another aspiring commander, very nice. And let's go ahead and jump on in. And there we go. Easy load in on Third Age 4.3. And of course, obviously, if you wanted the Battle HUD, there it is. So that is everything, guys. Hopefully you found this tutorial useful. Uh, and uh, if you do, as I said, have any issues, please leave a comment down below and I will try to help you out uh, to the best of my abilities. But thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you'd like to see more content like this in the future. And as always, I will see you in the next one.